this project I'm going to be reducing this amount of clay, shape it into the shape of a snake. Then I'm going to be cutting the middle part. Then I'm going to cut small tiny pieces in there, both sides. And then this one's in two parts, equal parts, or as equal as you can get them. So I have here two parts, two parts, and two tiny parts. I prefer to work over this plastic bags because they're easier to work with and you don't get as many, you know, fingerprints all over the place. First, I'm going to roll this one. Then into the shape of a sausage, but the sides are going to be a bit thinner. So I want the chunky side towards the center of it. And I'm just going to be making that for this three. This two are going to be different. What I'm going to do, since I want them all looking the same, cover this part of the back. Push them a bit, push it a bit, push it a bit, push it a bit. Then push it a bit more and a bit more. You don't want to push too much because then you're going to be having a really thin layer of clay and those ones tend to break. So now, for this part I'm going to be using toothpicks. I have these pieces and I'm going to cut four pieces. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to separate the back like this. I'm going to grab one of these ones. I'm going to put the tiniest bit of toothpick in the center. I'm just going to close it like so all right just going to make a kind of indentations in there okay i have my four pieces here and i'm not going to remove those two picks just until i'm ready for baking because i don't want my tiny little holes there to just flatten so i'm just going to grab the pears i'm going to just arrange the whole thing so it looks even and you know ready and i'm going to just push it I'm going to grab my plastic bag and I'm just going to push it to avoid again those fingers. Okay, for the middle part, it's actually optional. You can go ahead and put like one tiny dot in there on top, or you can just do it the traditional way. I'm going to go for the traditional way because that's the way that I like the most when it comes to bows. Make kind of large sausage. I'm going to put my what is this? Ziploc bag on top. Kind of losing it today, guys. Sorry about that. I'm going to push it a bit. And then I'm just going to open it. I'm going to put it on the top of it, just like that. And you can get help or if you need to. And I'm just going to try to push it so it gets stuck with the rest of the clay. So the back looks like this. Just go ahead and smooth the whole thing. Okay, my bows are baked and I forgot to mention that I was going to bake them without the toothpicks. Remove them just before, you know, carefully. So I'm just going to be painting my bow in this gold using this really tiny brush. Well, obviously you can paint it in any color. But yeah, just because my sunglasses are brown. And I'm using this toothpick right now to just have more control of the painting instead of just trying to pick the small tiny bow with my fingers in plus I have this really weird condition on my finger right now and it's kind of gross to look at all the time so I'm just kind of avoiding that for you and for me as well so I'm just going to paint them so my bow is finished dry I'm just going to glue it here and here and I'm just going to glue this in position it's totally up to you for me this is fine just arrange it as you like it let it sit in there so I'm just in love with how the sunglasses look. It's up to you whether if you use your, you know, super expensive and designer sunglasses or you just use stuff that you bought from the drugstore. I think it adds a bit something. Just remember you're adding glue. So if you like this idea, let me know and give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out my blog. I'm going to have pictures in there. I hope you like this one. Thank you so much for watching and take care. Talk to you later. Bye guys.